Our next guest shared an emotional video of her TikTok on TikTok after a life-changing day at work. It immediately went viral. Take a look. I did an Instacart order yesterday, and it was a daughter ordering for her older dad that couldn't shop for himself. Um, I get there, and something was telling me, no, you got to help this man out. You're not supposed to go inside someone's house, um, but I used my judgment, and I brought the groceries inside. I go to message the lady, and I said, if I say that the order is complete, um, I, I won't be able to message you, and I want to tell you this. He's not doing good. He's sick. There's a propane tank in there. I was in there maybe five feet, and I got dizzy. And she was like, all right, I'll have my son come out. She commented this morning, thank you so much. Once my son went to check on my dad, it turned out it definitely was leaking. You definitely saved my dad and my younger son's life. From Dalton, Georgia, please welcome Jessica Higgs. Aren't you special? Uh, so maybe. Just saving somebody's life. Just What's that feel like? Day. That's amazing. All right, so this just happened a few days ago, right? Yes. Um, I, it's so overwhelming. Everything is going on. And it's so, I'm so thankful. Everybody's reaching out saying that I've inspired them. And it's just, it blows my mind how I could change somebody like that. Well, I'm glad that you, you posted that on TikTok because you are inspiring a lot of people. So you work at Instacart. Um, you've been there for four years? Yes. Okay. I started when my son was first born four years ago just to make a little extra buck. Right. And I didn't really get into it full time until the pandemic happened. You know, I'm young and healthy. I can help the community while also making money because, you know, as a single mom, you don't, you don't have much of a schedule to work with. Right, so right. That was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So you, uh, this was, you were going to take the, the that, that was kind of like your last, um, meal of the day or delivery of the, delivery day. Of the day and and then you decide you get this one more call and you go you know what I'll do it. it yeah the order was sitting for a while which means you know nobody really wants to take it it's on the screen so I said you know what let me take it it's good money it'll be my last one so I take the order and it's 14 miles away and so I was like sure why not let's just right. take the order so you get there and you're supposed to leave it just on the porch you're not supposed to go in what made you decide to go in you know, when I saw him, he did not look good. You know, you're supposed to help your elders. You're supposed to, you know, go the extra mile for someone when you don't think they're doing good. And I just thought, you know, he could use an extra hand, and so that's what I did. So you go in, and immediately you sense or smell something. Yeah, I walked in, dropped the groceries off where he wanted me to drop them off, and I noticed that I felt dizzy, and I saw that there was a heater connected to a propane, and I put two and two together, and I was like, I'm smelling something. I said to him, are you okay? Do you need anything? He said no, and that's when I left to the car. So he seemed like he was okay. You were dizzy, but he seemed like he, he was okay. He seemed a little off, uh -huh. but I don't think he knew, you know, what it was going on. Right. I think. And you didn't exactly either. You just no. kind of figured yeah, something I was wrong. Of, yeah. So then you, you, if you close out, then you can't, right, you explain that. So you can't communicate with them anymore when you say it's, it's delivered. Yes. So when a customer places an order, once you complete the order, it, for their privacy and my privacy, it just goes away. Right. So I messaged her and I said, you know, this may be very unprofessional of me to do, but you know, once I close out this order, I'll never be able to message you. And I want to, you to know what's going on in that house and, you know, to take care of him and, you know, if anything he needs. And she was very thankful for that. And, and she, then what happened next? She had sent her son out to go check, and it turns out the propane tank was leaking. And I'm very thankful that he went out. They got him out. They fixed that, and you saved his life. Yeah. So... <laughs> So, and the tip was supposed to be $14. Yes. And then all of a sudden you noticed that they changed it to $100. Yes. I got a ping on my phone, you know, maybe it was another order, I thought, and she had changed it from 14 to 100 And that, my heart sank when I saw that because as a single mom, you know, I needed to make rent, and that was, I, it made it easier for me to take care of my kids. So. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh... <laughs> well... Instacart is inspired that you went above and beyond to support your customer, and they want to give you and your family a year of free groceries. Oh. 
one year of free groceries. And then there's one more thing. This card uh, says that Instacart wants to give you $10,000. <laughs> Oh, my God.